I don't know what you're doing. But it's not for you to know what you're doing, what he's doing. It says, leave not unto your own understanding, but in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Yes. But see, you, need, you got to understand something about God. God never leaves you nor forsake you. But you say, why can't I feel him? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How do I know he worked? How do I know he answered my prayer? And the whole time, he's standing there next to you. He's saying, here I am, right here. Yeah. He's telling you, I'm right here. I ain't went nowhere. It's just your antenna, bro. You said, well, Pastor, how could that be? Well, the Bible says, where can I flee from your presence? If you look over in the book of Psalms, this is what David is saying. He said, where can I Flee from your presence. That means flee means you trying to run from God. Yes. Oh, y'all don't want to Come hear on, me. Pastor. And running from God doesn't mean staying away from church. Come on, pal. This is this Come is on. this is how this is how we can get so stuck in being religious. Uh -huh. Because running from God is not. It has nothing to do with with running from church. That's right. That's right. You could be going to church every Sunday. You could be in every Bible study meeting. Y'all don't want to hear that. You can be in every prayer session. Come on, pal. And God still see you doing the running man. Come on, Holy Ghost. You can be in here, but you're not in here. Have you ever been somewhere but you in there but you're not in there? You in there, you're sitting in there but you're not in there. Because you're worried about something. You would like the enemy to come in and try to block your faith in God. But faith is supposed to be like a shield. Faith is a shield. And when that shield goes up, it's supposed to, it's supposed to quench the fiery darts of the wicked one. So that means that when the devil throws everything he has at you, you may feel the impact from the shield, yeah. but it can't go no further than that shield. Come on down. Come on down. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh. My God. So he says, I was talking to me and a, and a preacher friend of mine was having a discussion. And the problem is when we or uh, when you feel like you are out of the presence of God, mm -hmm. a lot of times we have a habit of blaming somebody else. <laughs> well, I don't wanna I don't really wanna want to go to church because you going this person gonna be here, that person. We don't get along, or I don't want to go to prayer meeting, or I can't work with him or work with her because we got a little situation going on. And the whole fact of the matter is, it's not them, it's you. It's not them, it's you. It's you because you got to understand something. If you're sitting in the presence of God, and everybody can feel him, but you can't feel him, then that means that now you have to point the finger at everybody else in the room.
get out. See, a lot of people, a lot of times when people say, I'm sorry, Come Lord, on. forgive me, or you have, uh, uh, or you are apologizing to somebody else. You really want to apologize if you didn't get caught. You would have kept on doing it.
say, get your faith in the devil. Get your faith. Your faith too small. Thank you. 